right here is probably the coolest thing I got at the farm show from Gia. Stress ball squeezer. It's a manure tank. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. They're gonna know you're coming if you keep barking. Go get them. He gets all revved up to chase geese. Yeah, other than the dude driving through the field, the cover crop's there. Oh, triticale. You can see like the hints of green. It should start taking off if these geese st stop eating at all. He missed half half of the geese all revved up. Oh. Alrighty, we're headed to work. We'll see what we get into after work. Appreciate you guys watching along and let's we'll see what the day comes of. Went from pretty decent weather to, uh, well, it's snowing now. So we're in Woodstock, just finished up maintenance. I was gonna go home, but this weather's gonna make the ride home horrible. And uh, I was gonna go home and work on projects, but this weather's gonna make the ride home horrible and uh, long. So I guess we'll see, probably go home, do some office work and see what we catch up to. Yep, I definitely missed that 60 degree weather we had a few days ago. Definitely miss it. Just got home, yeah. It's like 8.30 already, running way behind schedule. Okay, we got a solid maybe three, four inches of snow. So, yeah, definitely not going to get to any work today, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Alrighty, there was some questions. How much fuel did you spend going to Missouri? Well, I'm finally sitting down, and I'm actually going through my farm show bag, which has receipts. This right here is probably the coolest thing I got at the farm show from Gia. Stress ball squeezer. It's a manure tank. So, yeah. The guy watches the channel who gave it to me, so that was pretty cool. He's like, yeah, I want one of these. He's like, you're the YouTube guy. But, alrighty. So, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 fuel charges. Some of them were like 4 gallons because it shut the pump off at 100. So, stuff like that. So, out of those stops, we paid anywhere from uh, 379 up to 449 Yeah, big spread. 449 was on the throughway in New York. I know right now fuel prices are probably up um, 50 cents compared to it. So it will be interesting when I get done telling you what we spent. So 3,973 3, miles, we spent $934.69. Cheaper than I thought. I was figuring we were going to spend like 1100 So I guess we made out good there. Um, as far as the fuel costs, still have some toll costs in New York, things like that, but figured I'd, I'd do that. So let me do the math if we, uh, if we went later on, how many, I guess I got to count up how many gallons of fuel and then add 50 cents on top of that. Added up the fuel, $252 and 37 cents. Or wow. Added up the fuel, 252 gallons and 252.37 gallons. There we go. So if we do 252 times that by 0.5, be another 130 bucks, probably 150 bucks because not every, most places went more than 50 cents over. Yeah, so it was an expensive trip to go to Missouri um, for a planner that isn't perfect, but we're going to make it exactly what I want. So I'm not that worried on that side of it, but it was a vacation. I did have to pick up that manure pump. I got a hell of a deal on that manure pump. Um, 
went to the farm show. So you start minusing that stuff out. It might have costed us in fuel six hundred dollars, seven, ah, probably more than that, seven hundred dollars of that. So, but that averages out to like 15, 14 gallons per mile in the pickup, which really isn't that bad. Um, so, but alrighty, let me see what else I get into. Good morning. We actually got a fair bit of snow three four inches blew around and stuff but i'm off well me and yanko we're off we got to meet with one of our landowners um at eight o'clock this morning so we're headed over there and then we'll see what get what that gets into and what the day gets into but appreciate you guys watching let's keep going we are actually headed over um to a field that i picked up last year so i picked up those two fields for myself um three different landowners between all of them but this one is actually owned by the US government. So it is in the park system. Uh, go back, watch previous videos if you haven't done so. Um, the field was definitely in despair and a lot of trash in the spring. So we spent a bunch of money and time. I spent a bunch of money and time um, cleaning it up. That field made me zero profit. Um, and there's still some trash in the back, but it was neat. The people in charge actually, when I talked to them, they said, oh yeah, we've watched the videos, we understand, you, you put a lot of time and we like what you're doing. So, it will be interesting to go, I haven't talked to them in probably 11 months or so, so, and they have new people in charge, so we're going over having a little meet. It did snow three, four inches, so you can't see as much, um, but it is in a national park, so there's some restrictions, things like that, you gotta work around it, which is understandable. It's part of farming in this area and um, some of the battles we have, but we do have perks, as you know. So we'll jump over there and we'll see uh, what we go over and what we talk about. Probably won't film it just because that's common courtesy when we're having an actual meeting. So but I'll give you a rundown after and good 40 minute meeting. Um, just leaving actually. So that is the field that uh, I farm in the national park. And they watch the videos. They said they have people that visit the park that watch the videos, so. Um, and I always wonder about things like that because not everybody likes to be showcased things, um, but they were happy with it. So they wanna put me in one of their news articles talking about what I do, um, just to have interaction with the farmers that they have, um, which is neat. I. I enjoy that, if you haven't noticed, I enjoy um, sharing to the world what goes on. But, yeah, things were good. They were content with uh, how the field was. They're going to pull back some dirt. Um, they might do some clearing on some invasive species, uh, cover crop, stuff like that. I agree. Cover crop was late for me um, this year. But we got the cedar dialed in and hopefully next year things are a lot smoother and we can just run right after we get harvested and get manure out. Um, granted, that field didn't get manure. <clears throat> I probably plan on just plowing that back into the ground because I want more organic matter in that soil. But we will see. Uh, so good, good meeting this morning. Um, I guess I'm gonna head to work. That's, I guess that's my plan. I got plenty of work to do. This snow, hopefully it's all melted by this afternoon and things are good, but appreciate you guys watching along. Short little video, uh, keep you guys updated on what's going on and then we'll go from there. So have a good one.